Hey guys, welcome to HomeGuideInfo.com. In this video, I will be discussing Kenmore Elite Refrigerator Diagnostic Mode. Before starting, I would like to ask you to please give a thumbs up to a video, share, subscribe to our channel, and help us to grow and reach a new audience. Let's get started. Troubleshooting a Kenmore Elite Refrigerator has never gotten this easy. With the Kenmore Diagnostic Mode and the Kenmore Test Mode on virtually all Kenmore Refrigerator models and bottom freezers, Pinpointing the cause of a system malfunction based on the error code displayed is presently at its best. With Kenmore Diagnostic Mode, the era of guesswork troubleshooting is now history. Based on the error code shown by your Kenmore Elite Refrigerator and Bottom Freezer Refrigerator, you can evaluate the root cause of any problem. And you can do this by simply switching to the Kenmore Test Mode or the Kenmore Diagnostic Mode and proffer an adequate solution to enable your Kenmore Elite Refrigerator or Bottom Freezer Refrigerator optimally. How do I run diagnostics on my Kenmore Elite Refrigerator? To understand or at least know what could be wrong with your Kenmore Elite Refrigerator or Bottom Freezer Refrigerator, you need to know how to enter the Kenmore Elite Refrigerator or Bottom Freezer Refrigerator Diagnostic Mode, depending on your refrigerator model. There could be slight variations in operating the Kenmore Diagnostic Mode or a total absence of the Kenmore Diagnostic Mode altogether. This is inherent in some old Kenmore refrigerators and bottom freezer refrigerators. The following is an outline of the steps needed to successfully run the Kenmore Elite Refrigerator Diagnostic Mode for proper troubleshooting. First, ensure the refrigerator power cord is correctly plugged into the mains electric power outlet. Switch on the electric supply and provide electric power to the Kenmore Elite Refrigerator. Press on and hold on to the lock button for about 3 seconds. Now, long press and hold on to the Kenmore Refrigerator or Bottom Freezer Refrigerator button while you press on the Acela Ice button about 5 times. The LED display should show the total operating hours. The total number of hours the Kenmore Elite Refrigerator has been running. Next, tap the Bottom Freezer Refrigerator button 6 times to skip the temperature sensor check. By now, the Bottom Freezer Refrigerator would have shown the time left before the next recommended water filter change. Press the Freezer button one more time to instruct the fridge to display any error code. If there is no error code, the front panel display would just show the total operating time. Otherwise, the error codes about any problem within the refrigerator would be dilated appropriately. However, if an error code is displayed, note the error code and press the bottom freezer refrigerator button once again to display any other error code. Kenmore Elite 795 Refrigerator Diagnostic Mode the Kenmore Elite Refrigerator 795 model's diagnostic mode allows you as the user to routinely examine the performance of the power control board and detect the presence of any fault within the refrigerator on time. This mode is navigated by pressing two buttons on the display panel. Take note of the following facts about the Kenmore Elite Refrigerator 795 diagnostic mode. In the diagnostic mode, the function control button does not work. However, it gives off the beep sound when pressed. Unplug, then replug the Kenmore Elite Refrigerator 795 after exiting the diagnostic mode. Once an error code is detected, the test mode is put on standby. Conclusion The Kenmore Elite Refrigerator Diagnostic Mode is an essential tool. It comes in handy for the detection and accurate diagnosis of issues relating to the normal functioning of your refrigerator. Thus, you must familiarize yourself with the various error codes and interpret such codes. This knowledge would enable you to identify which issues are within your scope for a do-it-yourself fix and which of them are best referred by an expert. If you would like to read a blog post about this topic, you can visit our website, a link is in the description. If you have any feedback or question, please write down in the comment below. Thanks for watching, have a good day.